morning guys we are finally out at around 11 30 mm -hmm. and we are trying to find a cafe right now we both woke up kind of late today and today is actually a pretty nice day it's not too cold and not too hot so yes i like this kind of weather this makes me glad that i didn't buy a cardigan and I thought, I thought I was wearing a little bit and then I saw my friend yesterday and she was wearing a summer dress. Oh really? Yeah, like um, the spaghetti straps and everything. I was like, dang. Yeah, last night was so cold. Yeah, it was. It like got colder at nighttime. Yeah. But then my friend was like, it's okay, once we drink alcohol, we're not gonna feel cold. Oh really? <laughs> we're going to this cafe right here in this mall. It's fancy. Sorry. Wait, why do you need a right? It's like a library in here. I have to like study. Yeah, it's cute. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my god. I love this. Get this cute menu book. Wow, aesthetics, guys. They give you a key with your table number in it, on it, so you could check out with this key. <laughs> so cute. I got shrimp spaghetti with tomato cream sauce and there's spinach on top and I have iced coffee with milk and sugar on these cute little cups. high tech you can't slide <gasps> that's so cool are there like people selling things in every single station that's so interesting there's like whole restaurants in here too This place over here is called Ameya Yokocho. Ameya Yokocho. It's a really popular Japanese street. And this is in Ueno. I'm so excited. I love these kind of places. Seafood. You don't like it? My friend said that there is a place over here, a store that sells all the good Japanese snacks. So we will go check it out. Is it this one? Yeah. And this one? Yeah, they do the oh. same. Thing. My friend told me that this, um, a lot of Japanese people like to put this in their rice and this kind of originated Yeah, it's from Japanese like, um, 
traditional breakfast. Yeah, um, from like the war period when like people didn't have like a full meal, they'll put this on their rice as like kind of like a seasoning. So this tradition has stuck. We just got off the metro and we're going to Sensoji, Sensoji. Sensoji Temple. I got uh oh what is popular around here? It is called Dango. 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 From this really cute little shop. Which one this? Yeah, do you wanna try one? Um okay. apparently this is also something that you should try when you come here. It's still warm. What is this? Is it like bean inside? Yeah. Oh. It reminds me of and like. This is the design of the lamp. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Why? <laughs> it is cute. Go, go. Um, we're at the temple. So pretty. They're selling a lot of charms and scent pouches. You have to drop in a hundred yen while praying for your wish. Shake the box politely a few times. Make sure you num number and put the stick back. When you draw a good fortune, take it home, but you should not be careless and arrogant. When you draw a bad fortune, tie it on the hanger. Oh, so the hangers are all bad fortune. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to do it? So I got a good fortune. It says that signs of being fortunate is always on your way. An arrow you shoot will always get a target and everything you do will get quite well. Your target deer runs far away, thousands of miles ahead, so you should watch the direction of your arrow. No one knows that a deer will run away so far. You should not have an excessive desire. Your hopes will come out to be true, but you should know about yourself. 
to yourself. Recovering of sickness is hard. Finding the article you lost will be hard. The person you are waiting for will show around. Okay. There are no problems of building and moving house. There's little bit worry about traveling. Oh, that's good. There are no worries about marriage and employment. Nice. I'm glad I got a good fortune. What fortune did you get? Oh no. What, what does your fortune say? Every year your servants will be fewer and you will be alone. Okay, tie it. <laughs> Currently looking for the M line to transfer and I'm gonna go back to my hostel and put these bags away and then we're gonna go out again to to uh, Shinjuku and we're gonna meet someone there. I'm gonna meet a local and yeah. I am a little lost guys. We're gonna go eat at this really cute rooftop place. So this is squid. Yeah, fried squid. Fried squid and, and grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. And then we're having as asashi. Asashi bit asash. As How do you say this? The beer. A beer. As uh, not asashi. Asahi. This is a golden egg. Golden. Golden egg. Golden egg. Golden egg. This one. Yeah. How many capsule toys there are? Do we put in here? Uh oh. It's done. Oh, got a yellow one. Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, Tony, this is the gift for you. <laughs> oh. I'm on the 45th floor of the um, Metropolitan Government Museum, I mean, Government Building, Metropolitan Government Building. And you can see a whole view of Tokyo over here. Guys, if you want a city view of Tokyo, don't go to the one in Rapongi Hills because you have to pay like a $18 fee to go up there. Just come to the Metropolitan Government Building and the view here is even better. Okay, everyone taking a picture.
So the tunnel that I went to before was the wrong place. I'm supposed to go here. Wait a second. Uh, is it here? Frick. I don't always keep getting lost. Okay, okay, this was the right place. Walk up the stairs. And then there's another road over here. So, yeah. I'm going the right way. Honestly, my directions are so good. I found the metro station. I think it should be here somewhere. Maybe on the next block? My Google Maps is really messing up. It's reminding me of freaking Baidu Maps. The arrow thingy is just going everywhere. Like I'm going the right place, but it is not showing me that I'm going the right place. This is stupid. Oh, I see my friend. I'm sorry. Um, I'm so so. Ooh. Wow, so high tech. Is there something that you want? Me? Mm. Uh, I don't know, the fried rice. I got tuna rice. You know the rice? Mm, I'm excited. Oh, and this is yuzu sour. And my friend got ice cream tea. She's still waiting on her. And then my friend got fried squid tempura with mayonnaise. Looks delicious. So I got this traditional ice cream called Shirokuma from 7-Eleven and do you know what flavor it is? It's like vanilla flavor. It's not vanilla. Oh. Uh, maybe milk. Some milk flavor and then there's like fruits on there. So I see some strawberry, peach, blueberry, and pineapple? Yes. Right now we are heading to a store that my friend recommended us to go to because we're night owls. <laughs> so we're going out. I, too early to go back even though it's 10.30. Guys, I know what this tastes like. It tastes like condensed milk. This is so good. This is the place that my friend recommended. It kind of reminds me of a dollar store. Guys, that was that's not just one floor, okay? There's seven floors here. And each floor sells different things. Many weird things. They even have suitcases here. Guys, there's sake flavored Kit Kat. Mint yogurt. And then you have like Matcha, which is only $2.98. That's like 3 USD. Hello? Why is it $9 in New York? Guys, we're going back home now. Oh, it's been Look how messy my place is. 